Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a highly requested video. A ton of you guys have been asking me what my lab results look like. So I'm going to share my previous lab results from a couple days before I got my transplant till the day I got my transplant and up until now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely keep on watching. But before we continue, I just want to quickly remind you to please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button for push notifications. Here I have an overview of my lab results. So I'm just going to kind of go over the most common ones, which is BUN, creatinine, GFR, calcium, potassium. But you guys can kind of see it all here. I'm first going to start out with my BUN. So on January 30th, 2017, I was still doing dialysis. And as you guys can see, my BUN is super high. I had it at 44. And then the day of my transplant, I had it at 52. And then from the day after, the couple days after, you could start to see that it goes down. Now we are going down a couple rows and we're going to look at creatinine. When I was doing dialysis, my creatinine would fluctuate all the time. On January 30th, 2017, it was at 13.9 and that's super high. The, the normal is usually one point something to one. So mine was at a 13.9, super, super high. The day of my transplant, it was 11.5. Then the next day, 7.0. Then the next day, 3.3. And you can see that it just starts to go down and so forth. And it gets down to 0 0.8. Now, if you guys look at my calcium, it's slightly towards the lower side. The average is usually 8.5 through 10.5, and mine was at 8.3 when I was doing dialysis. And, and then the day of my transplant and the following day, it was towards the lower side, but I guess it was all the blood loss, or I don't really know why, honestly, but then it just starts to increase from there. Now if we go back down a couple of rows we, and we go to glucose, you notice that when I was on dialysis, it was at 95. Then the day of my transplant, it was super high, 178. And then the following day, 104. I started to notice the trend that the day of my transplant, my lab results are kind of just all over the place. But as the days pass, they start to regulate and control themselves. And then they just continue on the same path. Here I have my lab results from October 17, 2018. They're my most recent ones. And as you guys can see now, my blood work looks a lot more normal, I guess. But my glucose was 94, which is still like kind of close to 100, but not like alarming. Um, my BUN was 12, dropped down a lot compared to the 44, I believe. And my creatinine is now 0.9 and so forth you guys can see so my labs have changed dramatically and I'm really grateful because you know dealing with kidney disease and being on dialysis was horrific so I'm now very thankful that I have a transplant now we're gonna go over my GFR so it was in the past before I got my transplant 3.3 and then the day of my transplant 4.2 and ever since then it just started increasing now it's at greater than 60, which is good, you know. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can read it, this small print, it just goes into detail a little bit about what's considered chronic kidney disease, which is less than 60 and so forth. So yes, guys, this is an overview of my lab results. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, and I would love to answer them. And thank you guys once again. God bless everyone.